So, uh, if you watched my in my um, deck introduction video for this deck, uh, I I pretty much ranted about how this deck was such a cheap piece of crap, and and it is. It's it's not a piece of crap in the sense that it's bad. It's a piece of crap in the sense that it's way too good. It is so strong. Okay, there's no one here. Let's uh, start a match. It is really really powerful. It's very, very difficult uh, to, to win against Grinning Malice um, unless you have everything working for you. If there's any kind of slip-up, uh, you're almost guaranteed to lose to Grinning Malice because it, it it's, cre um, its cards seem a little... What? Okay, that sucks. That sucks quite a bit. So that's a pretty awful start, but uh, you can't go in there with no lands, and you can't go in there with one land, so... Is he gonna let me have it? That's nice. Maybe he has removal, I'm, I'm not sure, but... Or maybe he doesn't want to lose the four life. What's he playing? He's playing Spore Frog? That's Golgari, I think, so he has a lot of removal. A lot, a lot, a lot of removal. Okay, so... Obviously, I need to get in there a lot and early, so before he can start casting his removal spells. But might be too late already by next turn. He might have a go for the throat, and him losing the spore frog is no big deal. It's better than losing four life. So, yeah. But is it better than losing? Ah, okay. Yeah. So that sucked a little bit. Not much I can do about that. Ooh, it would be nice to draw a land, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice to draw a land? So let's just keep the Vexing Devil back. It might help me out eventually. It might be... Uh, it might... Okay. Yeah, well, not, not much I could do about that. It was dead to begin with. Yeah, swing in for one. So, I might end up having to use my demonic tutor to go get a land well here's one land so should I do it I kind of want to have that second land I also kind of yeah I'm not going to get in for any kind of damage anytime soon so or I could go get no I ah man what do I want what do I want think this is the test you wh which card is the best card to draw that uh, I think I might gonna want I, I I'm gonna get the land that's that's gonna be important for me um, because then I can top deck demigods of revenge and uh, they're pretty much gonna get me the win He's playing way too many cards. That's comforting, at least. <laughs> if nothing else, that's really comforting. But uh, I, that that is probably one of the best ways I've I've seen uh, to deal with a uh, vexing demon. Nice. So I get that card. That's good. That's very very good. Uh, I think I'm going to take out one of his lands. I think I'm going to take out his swamp. So he's down to one land and. Uh, now the tables have turned, as they say. And my Demigod of Revenge is not gonna uh, block his Abyssal Gatekeeper. Of course, he he has stuff to uh, kill it, but since he only has a Greenland or a forest right now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a huge problem. And I want to get in there, just get in there swinging as soon as possible. Then I can start dropping those... Uh, Pain Magnification and Blood Chief Ascension enchantments, so he's in a pretty bad way. Um, but I know as soon as he gets lands, uh, things might change around. But actually, in in this DLC, and and uh, I, if any of you have your wits about you, you, you might want to roll your eyes at this. But there are only two um, mana ramps in this. Um, in this DLC. I'm not dropping that. Oh, sh I just thought it. Uh, I clicked it. Uh, I'm not dro uh, dropping the Ashenmore Goucher because it's um, 
it's it, it's going to be blockable and it really serves no purpose at this uh, time uh yeah but the only uh mana ramps that i can think of is um uh, what was that either he's unlocking he might be unlocking cards because that's really expensive and i see no reason to run that i think he's unlocking cards basically okay that's good i win <laughs> oh that's very fortunate uh let me be polite and say gg um so yeah um there's only the um, in in the golgari deck there's i think that it's in the golgari deck or it might be in collective might um i think it's in golgari deck there's the um what's it called it's called the um, da -da -da -da, the elf card what the hell is it called? It's called the... Um, I don't know. Uh, that's a lot of land, but is it good enough? Let's keep it. Let's see what happens. Um, Civic Wayfinder, that's the card. That's one, one of the ramps, and it's a three cost, uh, put a forest in your hand. Okay, okay, so he's uh, he switched it up. He's playing Exalted Darkness now. Okay, and I get uh, Hellhole Rats. That's pretty good. S uh, Stabbing Pain is very, very good against Exalted Darkness. Um, and the, oh, sorry, the other uh, Mana Ramp card uh, that you have in um, in this format is, or in the DLC, is uh, the... I, I sorry, I forget the name of it. It but it's a um it, it's in the Asaurus deck, uh the Aura Servants. It's a three two no, sorry, it's a two three guy who who makes your your enchantments cheaper. No, he makes sorry, I'm just I'm 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 absent minded here. He makes uh your white spells one um colorless cheaper and your blue spells one uh, one colorless cheaper. And on top of that, he makes your opponent's spells uh one colorless more expensive. So that's pretty uh that that's a pretty pretty good ramp, I would say, but there's only one of him. I think there are two uh, uh civic wayfinders in whatever deck it's in so yeah that's uh quite a bit of a difference maker so oh man that's gonna be so good for me that is going to be so good for me let's just keep some mana open and see what he does no no i'm fine i'm fine i could of course uh, chaos warp my hellhole rats but nah i think I would like to have uh, like for you to have something worse than that. There's really nothing better. Here we go. Uh I'm going to take that damage. Yeah. That I am. And Oh, it's too black. That sucks. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, let's just keep rolling. No need to be impatient. I'll get the the swamp eventually. <laughs> see, I I was talking uh, to some subs about um, why I didn't run. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That guy's getting taken out as well. I can tell you that much. And I don't think I will... No, I'll say... Wow! Well, you're welcome. <laughs> that sucks. Holy mother of all that's good and pure. That's... Um, that's unfortunate. I will block here because I don't need the hellhole rats anymore. They're not doing anything for me. And here we go, finally. I sincerely hope he doesn't have anything for me. Um, because I might, I might have to take that one or that, uh, five damage or whatever. Uh, well, he, I'm, sh I'm assuming he comes in with a lot more, actually. Mm. 
yeah, I guess you kind of do. Um, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, yeah. And I have to sacrifice it. God damn it. Uh, well, Chaos Warp certainly doesn't help you all the time, that's for sure. Uh, but it has helped me out, I think, five or six times within a span of three or four matches. So, well, can't get uh, you can't get er uh, everything you want, I guess. And I was getting a little greedy with it. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But that's what I had in my hand, and uh, yeah. If I do get a terminate, for example, it's going to be pretty sweet. I don't. Okay. But I have a stabbing pain and uh, he will not attack with the, at least with the Nephrox, that's for sure. Here we go. There'll be no attacking of your creatures or with your creatures. Uh, it's, a, it's a shame I didn't have that extra swamp. Then I could have taken care of that problem last turn, more or less. I don't mind if you... Yeah, I don't mind because I really have nothing to use it for. And he has so many great creatures in hand. It's insane. Or on the board. That's insane. He has Nephrox and I gave it to him like a big idiot. And uh, he has the Battle... No, that's not Battle Grace Angel. That is Angel of Despair. That's what it... Okay. Okay, so that's GG. Uh... I'll just let him have his uh, very satisfying victory. I'm pretty sure that he's happy about beating <laughs> a um, undersupplied uh, a an undersupplied version of um, of 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 the m uh, grinning malice deck, uh, uh, in undersupplied in terms of land, and then a land flooded uh, version of. Uh, of this deck. I hope he goes uh, he's down for another one. I would definitely be down for another game. Yeah. Okay. So still not good enough. Let's see. Well, that's better at least. That is better. I need to draw one land and then I can uh, I can use the terminate already. I have the two demigods of revenge, but they're not going to come into to play for a while. At least until I draw t three more lands. I can play the Gouger though. So I, I'm wondering if he's back on the horse with the with the Golgari deck with the sepulchral strength. That's the question. Hmm. Apparently he has nothing, or he's just fallen asleep over there. Two terminates. <laughs> it's really cool. Like you get immediate responses. If people like people will be uh, quick to share their thoughts uh, because it's so easy to just type up a message. Do I want to? Yeah, I think I have to. I think I have to get that land. Uh, I don't have anything that needs... It looked like it was going to be a while before I drew a land as well. Um, so that I think that was a good play. Okay, so he's playing... Is that the... I guess it is. I guess that's the Ancient Wilds deck don't think it's pack instinct is it no it's the ancient wilds okay so i'm starting to draw lands that's good that is very very good for me and i'm drawing the correct lands so i have two mountains and two swamps that's very good um so basically if i draw a land within the next two turns i can start uh, going nuts with the demigods of revenge and I have Terminates to remove whatever he has on the, his side as well. I have three Terminates and a Bituminous Blast. That is absolutely insane. Question is if he wants to, uh, if he wants to lose his Beetle because it's not worth that much. Yeah, I would do that as well. Okay. Yes. 
Let me just take care of that beetle. I have three terminates and I don't want to lose my creature. Who knows how long <laughs> it's going to be before I draw a um a draw mana for the demigod of revenge. And another thing is that I wasn't it wasn't going to be a trade. He was going to keep his stupid beetle. Okay, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. You suck, sir. I I, pr I probably should have uh, paused it and, and terminated. Okay. So, I'm going to kill this guy as well. Because it has uh, death touch. So, if I want to get in there, I I need to move fast. Um, I do ha I have the Cinch Mine Ogre and I have... Uh, which is uh, a creature I can lay as soon as I draw a land. Oh man, really? So many things I have to remove. These terminates are really, really going. Uh, they're selling like hotcakes. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Good for me. Uh, the question is, do I want to hold back? I, I don't mind trading if he wants to swing in. I don't think he wants to. Um... He has two cards in hand, and I think they might be big ones. Yeah. And he's definitely dropping that one next turn. So. But the issue is that now I know that I... I shouldn't just... Primordial Sage, Thraktusk. Uh, so Thraktusk gives him a lot of... Uh, a lot of life. Yeah, that's gonna suck so much. Yeah, he doesn't want to swing in. My creatures are pretty big as well. Uh, do I want to go for it? The chaos warp. <laughs> it's it's been a series of of uh, chaos warp craziness uh, this this time around. Mm. I want to stall out a little bit. That's for sure. And I don't want to swing in. I have no reason to swing in. His creatures are superior to mine. Uh, the Thrak Tusk is easy to remove, but it's it, it gives him another creature. And I think I would like to... I can't block with this guy. I forgot about that. That's pretty silly of me. Mm, no, let's Chaos Warp it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I should have... Oh, I should have done it with a... Th whoa! 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 You're welcome! Man, I'm giving him all kinds of good creatures here. Well, here's the thing. I want him to swing in and be overconfident. But I gave him seven life on top of that. Oh, man, Chaos Warp, you're killing me. <laughs> the audacity of Chaos Warp. Okay, that's going to suck as well. At least he can't kill my Demigod of Revenge since it's down on the table. Yes. Look at me crying. Look at me taking your Palaka Worm away. So he has one card in hand. Okay, let me draw that land for fuck's sake. Okay, here we go. That's that's something. <laughs> that is something. So I can start swinging in finally. Oh man. No more Chaos Warps. And I have a... Uh, I do have one more Chaos Warp, but I don't want to draw it. I want to... Maybe I want to use the Bituminous Blast uh, for removal next time. That's going to be a little bit more helpful. He has two cards in hand. What could they be? Do he want... Does he want to swing in? I I'll trade. I'll definitely trade. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I need to swing in with the demigods, for sure. Um, the thing that I considered was to swing in with the Ashmore Gouger and uh, just g go nuts with the Stabbing Pain, but I think I'll keep... Well, I, I have no options, of course, right now, but next round I have a little bit of option. He still hasn't hit me for any damage. What is this guy? Defender. Okay. Ah, oh, that's no good. That's no good. That is no... Well, I do have the stabbing pain, so that's not going to be a problem. But he pretty much has to use his reach guy. 
Wow, he's so dead. He's so dead and he doesn't know it. So goodbye and let me swing in. Let me swing in with everything. Oh, not everything. Swing in with these guys. He's going to block. I'm going to use the Blightning and he's not going to be happy. Yes, that's uh, that's the plan. GG. So yeah, thanks for watching. I am Multimeteor. This has been Magic 2013 deck testing some Grinning Malice. Um, surprisingly, I had fun. Well, not surprisingly. Unsurprisingly, I had fun playing it because it, it gives you those wins. But uh, even in, in, um, in, in uh, uh, uphill battles, it'll just work for you really, really hard. But man, <laughs> it's, it's such a bitch deck. Um, yeah, you gotta enjoy it while you can, I guess. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, matches video, whatever. Laters.